Hello, we're back. And then we're done with the uh, chair or the seat part. So now it's like a series of grids. Oh, there's some weird hidden lines here. Huh, I wonder what that is. Let's see if I can erase it. And just like double checking if all the planes are where I want it to be. That was a weird, a weird like thing. And that, that never happened before. Okay, let me just okay, filling that in. Okay, so that should be ready for the smooth tool. Um, hmm. Let me make this into a group. See if it still appears. There's something here. And I can't seem to erase it. Anyway, the smooth tool should work fine. So you go to the smooth tool, left click, and then you would see um, that it's set to 1000 centimeters. So you need to change that. Let's say uh, 10 centimeters. How much is that? Okay, it still looks pretty big. Uh, that's it. Let me get out of here. Then enter. Okay, now I changed it. Then. So the way to change the dimension is left click the smooth tool, enter your dimension, let's say 7, and press enter. And then it should be 7 when you click it again. Um, I think that's just left click, enter number, and then left click again. Now I'm going to double click into our um, prepared seat, left click the um, smooth tool. You see the 7 centimeter radius a bit too small. So I want to change it. I want to go, um, let's say 15, enter. Left click, left click. Okay, still too small. Left click 20, let's say 25. Left click. Okay, then save that time. 25, enter. Okay, so now it's a 25. That's about how I want it. So you see when you left click again, uh, make sure to left click the center of your um, seat model and then you can just move it up or down and then just estimate the curve of the seat i would put it at around um, 5 cm down yeah i'm just gonna enter 5 press enter whoops sorry remember your um, cartesian plane so um, i would need it to press minus 5 because we're going down minus 5 enter and there you go that's your seat and I think that's a good enough shape. And um, notice it has a lot of lines. It looks very kind of unclean. So what you just need to do when you submit it during the final is just you just turn off edges. So now you have a clean shape like that. That's just a limitation of working with SketchUp without extensions. I think there's a way to make this smoother, uh, smooth edges. That's the extent of that. You need, I think we need like third party programs to create an even better uh, smooth effect. And then to create the back of the seat, you just do the same process we did earlier and then uh, make it stand up and then uh, attach it to the back. I think I'll do a quick video of that. Uh, just give me a minute. Hang on. Stop recording.